Being a single mom is a tough job, made even harder by having multiple children. There comes a time when a single mother, who needs to earn enough to support herself and her children, must turn to third parties for help with household chores. Usually this means they hire a babysitter to babysit their children for them. Bridget Elks was a mother trying to balance her job with being a mother. It's never easy, but she had to do it to make ends meet. Her marriage had unexpectedly collapsed, and she had to find a full-time job to keep herself afloat. Before we start, can we get this video to 1,000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Only her three children matter to her, but she needed help. When hiring a babysitter, you really need to do your research. After a long interview process, one woman seemed perfect for the job. She would babysit one-year-old Kirk and six-year-old Marie. Lisa was hired and Bridget could finally put his mind at ease. Bridget was lucky to have found Lisa. After just a few weeks, she almost felt like part of her family. She felt like she could finally focus on her work during the day. But then something unexpected happened. After just three weeks, Lisa left a message for Bridget that left her speechless. Lisa shared that she was quitting and asked for her last paycheck to be ready. When Bridget got home, Lisa left without saying goodbye. What had changed? Only after some persuasion did Lisa explain that her daughter Marie was the reason for her termination. But what could her child have done? She couldn't believe it. Bridget couldn't just give up her job. It was her only source of income, and she couldn't sacrifice it to look after her children. Otherwise, they would not survive. So she had to get to the bottom of it. Why her kids went through six different nannies? After six nannies suddenly quit, Bridget couldn't understand what was going on. She knew kids could be tough sometimes, but that's what they had committed to. Taking care of kids is pretty tough, that's for sure. But she felt her children were no worse than anyone else's. Why did all nannies come to the same conclusion? Bridget decided to invest in surveillance equipment to see what was happening that prompted her babysitters to quit. She wanted to get to the bottom of this and was willing to do anything to find out. Meg was the seventh nanny and Bridget knew it would be different this time. This time, nanny cams would show Bridget why the babysitters keep quitting. When you're monitoring something, it takes a while to gather the data you need. It can take days or even weeks for someone to figure out what the deal is, and this was no different. It took Bridget a while to collect the necessary footage to determine the cause of the layoffs, and what she saw shocked her. The new nanny seemed to enjoy her job very much, but like every nanny before her, she quit her job after two weeks. At least now she could check and understand exactly why Meg had resigned like everyone else. It took a while to collect all this, but now she can figure out the problem. But what she found scared her. Bridget's eyes got bigger the longer she watched. She couldn't believe what she saw. Bridget watched as Meg politely asked Marie to hand her the baby's diaper bag because she had her hands full. You can't tell me what to do. The little girl shrieked, I'm the boss of you guys. Every time Meg asked Marie to do something, like wash her hands before lunch or herself to get ready for school, Marie refused. Bridget was angry. The day Meg quit was the last straw. She had asked Marie, who was running around making noise, to please calm down because her little brother had just fallen asleep. I'm your boss. I'll have you fired. Marie yelled in the babysitter's face. Bridget watched Meg try to de-escalate the situation, then grabbed her phone. Bridget sat down with Marie and explained to her that she had to respect her babysitter. She showed her the evidence that she had misbehaved and tried to talk to her calmly. She asked the six-year-old if she thought her behavior was acceptable. But Marie's answer stunned her. We pay them. I'm your boss. Marie scolded back. Where did this behavior come from? While Bridget struggled to find a replacement nanny, there was no one to take Marie to her swimming lessons. When the little girl complained, Bridget pointed out that it was her own fault. She's the reason her babysitter quit, and until I can find someone new, she won't be able to do the fun activities her babysitter made her do. The angry mom aired on the parents' group on Facebook. But was this punishment enough? A professional spoke up. That was all Bridget wanted to hear. But could she handle it? It sounds to me like she's unhappy with the situation that she even had a babysitter. Wrote Vicky Broadbent, founder of the parenting blog Honest Mom. Perhaps she felt that her needs were not being met. Egg, she felt that she was not being listened to, that she had lost her autonomy 
in even the smallest decisions that her personality was clashing, or that she probably felt a little let down by her parents in that scenario. So could Bridget have approached the whole situation differently? Vicky pointed out that Murray may have felt particularly upset about the whole situation if the reasons why she needed a babysitter weren't properly explained to her by her mother. So Bridget should have told Marie that she needed a babysitter because she had to work hard to pay for Marie's dolls, swimming lessons, food, etc. It was important to communicate with the child to let them know they were not being abandoned. And the reason for that, it's also important to remind them how emotionally safe and loved they are. I personally hated being a nanny when I was a little kid and later a babysitter, Vicky explained. When a parent or caregiver does not provide the child with consistent loving and caring interactions, the child experiences chronic stress and anxiety. The events that occur during a child's growth often carry over into adulthood. As a result, abandonment difficulties become more common as you age and can impact your relationships. But Vicky noticed something else about Marie's behavior that suggested the scenario wasn't quite as straightforward as it seemed. The feeling of being understood promotes connection and increases the likelihood that your child will speak to you again in the future. Bridget was right in telling Marie that she was hurtful, but she should have also tried to understand why Marie was behaving the way she did. Also, at some point, an adult must have told the girl that she is her babysitter's boss, either in jest or in all seriousness. Because at six years old, it's still quite young to understand the complexities of money and the power it can hold can give you," Vicky concluded. This means it takes a child some time to process issues, such as the need for a babysitter. In general, it is important to establish a solid bond and lines of communication, and not just the night before the newcomer arrives. Give a child at least a week to process the new information, and, as mentioned earlier, tell them why. This eliminates as many unknowns as possible. 